Quetta, the capital of Pakistan's southwestern Balochistan province, is covered in political party flags, posters and graffiti of candidates vying for votes in the February 8 general elections. But at this study circle organized by a faction of the Baloch Students' Organization, none of the voting age men are planning to vote. Our political parties have failed, and they have been fully exposed. They have failed in delivering education, infrastructure, health, and any other facilities you can think of. Looking at all of this, we say no, we will not vote for any party. This disappointment is widespread among young voters here. Balochistan is Pakistan's largest province area-wise, but it's home to just 6% of the country's population. It's rich in natural resources and yet lags far behind Pakistan's other three provinces in terms of development. Massive Chinese funding in the last decade has failed to spur the local economy. A separatist insurgency gripping the province for nearly 20 years has intensified with the arrival of foreign projects. The most burning issues in the heavily militarized province are enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings, students say. We are not getting our right to live. How can we expect to get other rights? A new movement demanding state action for the recovery of missing persons has gained huge traction. Maharang Baloch, who led cross-country protests to Islamabad last December, received a hero's welcome upon returning to Quetta. Her coalition, the Baloch Unity Committee, has vowed to stay away from parliamentary politics. There is an oppression in remote areas where people simply don't know their rights. We want to go there, meet the people there, and educate them so that they can struggle for their rights. Of course, it is a state and parliament's responsibility to give rights. Through our movement, we want to compel them to do their job. Observers say Balochistan's small population makes it the least prized of Pakistan's four provinces in the parliament and often neglected in policy making. This is the reason why mainstream parties pay attention to the populous regions of Punjab and Sindh that hold more seats. And Balochistan's local politicians form alliances with those who form the government at the federal level and in Punjab. Factions of the Baloch Students' Organization, however, support Baloch nationalist leaders' bid for parliament. The system is not ideal at all, and especially not for the Baloch people. But we feel we should not leave any front unattended. Many worry young voters in Balochistan are losing faith in democracy. That, they say, is not just bad for politicians, but also for the Pakistani state. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Quetta, Balochistan.